Ants are among the most dominant and successful life forms on Earth. Surviving for millions of years and evolving into complex societies with discipline, structure, warfare, intelligence, and cooperation that rivals human civilizations. Among the different types of ants found around us, two species stand out due to their common presence and very different lifestyles, the black ant and the red ant. At first sight, they may look similar in shape and behavior, but once you look closely into their daily life, survival strategies, behavior, communication, colony structure, and evolutionary instincts, a fascinating world of differences unfolds. Their lifestyles reflect two opposite philosophies of survival, one built on patience, teamwork, and strong community bonding, and the other built on aggression, dominance, and fierce nature-driven power, black ants. Most commonly from the Lazius family are usually calm, peaceful, and highly cooperative creatures. Their bodies are generally dark brown to jet black, and they are often seen exploring walls, kitchen floors, gardens, and tree trunks in perfectly coordinated lines. Red ants, most commonly from the Solenopsis family and often called fire ants, are fiery, aggressive, and territorial insects. They carry a distinctive reddish-brown color and are famous, or infamous, for their painful sting. Where black ants walk slowly and thoughtfully, red ants rush like trained soldiers marching toward a battlefield. Where black ants negotiate space and work silently, red ants defend aggressively and react instantly to any disturbance. Just one touch near their nest can cause hundreds of red ants to swarm out like a tiny army ready to fight to death. The difference in personality begins with evolution. Black ants evolved for long-term stability, patience, and survival through cooperation. Their strength lies in planning, resource management, and worker unity. Red ants evolved for combat, speed, and aggressive expansion. Their colonies grow fast, spread fast, and fight without hesitation. If food appears, red ants rush and seize it immediately, often fighting and killing any competitor, including other ants. Black ants take time, send scouts, analyze routes, and form long-lasting supply trails. If they lose access, they try again with a revised plan. If red ants lose, they attack harder the next time. Inside their colonies, both species follow a caste system led by a queen, supported by workers, soldiers, and male drones responsible only for mating. But the internal functioning is not the same. Black ant colonies act like peaceful villages where every worker ant operates calmly, focusing on cleaning, feeding larvae, gathering food, building tunnels, repairing nests, and protecting the queen. They work like a disciplined, silent workforce where cooperation and mutual help keep the colony alive. Red ant colonies are more like military camps, filled with alert soldiers ready to act instantly. They create military-style strategies for invasion, hunting, defense, and expansion. Their teamwork is fast and effective, but aggressive and force-driven, rather than cooperative and planned like the black ants. Home construction is another area that shows their difference. Black ants build carefully planned underground tunnels with chambers for food storage, egg nurseries, worker rooms, and queen chambers. They prefer slightly damp, shaded environments, under rocks, inside soil, or beneath tree roots. They maintain ventilation and humidity naturally, almost like small architects. Red ants, on the other hand, build dome-shaped soil mounds or sandy hills visible above ground. Their nests have multiple escape holes, reflecting constant readiness for attack or emergency. They prefer warm, open, sunny areas. Their nests are not as structurally complex as black ants, but they are protected like fortresses, always guarded by soldiers. Diet also highlights their behavioral differences. Black ants prefer sweet foods, nectar, fruit, sugar, and especially honeydew produced by aphids. In one of nature's most fascinating relationships, black ants farm aphids just like humans farm cattle. They protect them from predators and milk them for sweet liquid. This farming technique shows intelligence, resource planning, and patient cultivation. Red ants are hunters and scavengers. They crave protein where insects, larvae, eggs, even dead animals. They kill or steal food aggressively. If they find a dead insect, they rapidly tear it apart and carry pieces back home. They do not farm. They conquer. When it comes to defense and warfare, the true contrast becomes dramatic. Black ants hardly ever attack first. If threatened, they defend using formic acid, a chemical they release to discourage enemies, but they avoid unnecessary fights. Red ants rush, bite, sting, and spray venom. Their sting is painful and can cause burning sensation, itching, and allergic reactions in humans. Hence the name fire ants. 
They attack in groups and do not stop until the threat is destroyed or chased away. Where black ants protect territory quietly and stand united, red ants defend territory violently and aggressively. Communication plays a powerful role in their success. Both species use pheromones, vibrations, and touch. But black ants communicate strategically, marking food trails, signaling danger in waves, and guiding young workers. Red ants communicate like a live alarm system, fast, intense, and urgent. One red ant sensing danger can trigger the entire colony into battle mode within seconds. If black ants are diplomats, red ants are fearless warriors. Life cycle differences also exist. The queen of both species lays eggs and can live many years, but red ant queens can produce soldiers quickly, allowing explosive population expansion. Black ant queens produce balanced workers for long-term colony sustainability. Larvae in both colonies are fed and protected by workers, but red ant larvae are often trained early in aggressive behavior. Black ant larvae grow in peaceful nurturing conditions. Even their personalities show contrast. Black ants are patient explorers. They study food sources before committing. Red ants rush seas and drag food home with raw strength. When faced with obstacles, black ants choose long-term solutions, rerouting paths, adjusting strategies. Red ants often bite or attack obstacles instinctively. Black ants display calm intelligence, while red ants display instinctive reaction and fearlessness. Environmentally, both play major ecological roles. Black ants help recycle organic matter, aerate soil through tunnel building, and protect plants by controlling pests and farming aphids. Red ants also control pests and recycle nutrients, but their aggressive nature can invade ecosystems, harming other insect populations. In human spaces, black ants are usually harmless household visitors searching for food, while red ants can be dangerous pests due to painful stings and aggressive swarming behavior. Despite their differences, both species share remarkable survival abilities. Both can carry many times their body weight. Both coordinate in harmony within their colonies. Both care for their queens and young. And both maintain one of the most successful social systems in nature. Their tiny brains and chemical communication networks achieve feats many larger animals cannot. They prove that size has no connection to intelligence and success. Unity, adaptation, and discipline matter far more. In the end, the story of black ants and red ants becomes a reflection of two philosophies of life. Black ants teach us patience, planning, teamwork, and long-term thinking, values that build civilizations. Red ants show us bravery, speed, courage, and the power of decisive action, traits needed to survive in harsh and competitive environments. One thrives through harmony, the other through force. One builds slowly and silently, the other dominates quickly and loudly. Yet both survive, both succeed, and both carve their own powerful place in the natural world. Together they remind us that nature rewards not only strength but also strategy. It rewards not only speed but also intelligence. It rewards not only aggression but also unity and discipline. Whether calm like the black ant or fierce like the red ant, each life form develops its own path to survive. And that balance of differences is what makes the natural world so extraordinary.